Top tip for facilitating retros when the team lacks psychological safety. Now, this is a tricky one. This is where the team don't feel like they can have an honest conversation you know, for fear of retribution, for fear of it being used against them or it being taken out of context or whatever. But they're not going to be 100% honest about what's happened in the sprint. So what can we do there as the Scrum Master? Well, for me, anonymity becomes a really important part of this. They need to learn, and I do mean learn, they need to learn that it's safe to talk within this team. Okay? So if they're not going to put their name to things, and very often this comes out as silence in these days of remote working, the number of people I've talked to, they say, how do you get people to engage? I, very often with a bit of digging, it's because those developers don't know how this information is going to be used. They don't want to engage because they're fearful. Okay? So what I do is I bring anonymity into it. I will use tools that let them put their thoughts, their thinking down, but without their name put to it. So I use Mural a lot in my training and in workshops, and it's got the ability to go into an incognito mode. People can't see who's doing what. So they can put what they want down. They can be open and honest, and there is no attachment to them. And that becomes really important because we're bringing into the room lots of thoughts and thinking, but we're not assigning it to people. And therefore, if there is reason behind that, that lack of psychological safety, there's no way of attaching it to them. What I often see, though, in all honesty, is people do that. Nothing bad happens, even though they said something that wasn't taken well. Okay? And over time, it helps to build that psychological safety within the team. They learn that actually the information that they share is going to be well regarded, is going to be taken by the team as it's intended to help improve. Okay? It's not going to be shared or used against them. And slowly that means we can build the psychological safety within that group so that we don't need to use the anonymity tools. But for me, I'll always start there. If a team is new or there are reasons that I think that they're not going to share at their fullest or if they're just not sharing, I will ask them to do exercises um, that don't require them to talk. So they'll write things down on a mural or we used to do it in person on pieces of paper or on post-its and you couldn't see where people's information went. Okay. Or they share it beforehand. But all of this is around anonymity. It's a way of them giving honest and open thinking, feedback, but without it being assigned to them. So for me, when we're missing psychological safety in the team, that's my go-to. Let people have their say without it being pegged against them but I'm interested. What would your top tip be for teams in retrospectives that are lacking that psychological safety?